Oh my god, am I glad that it is Saturday! Whew, it's been a very long week and Wednesday was extremely long. So Wednesday, I had two events on Wednesday and I got to the school about 7.30 and I didn't get done until about 9 o'clock. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm so glad I'm never doing that again. Um, but yeah, it's Saturday and I've been taking my sweet ass time getting everything ready for the weekend or for the next week. I don't even know. I might have another cup of coffee. But I do know that I've got a bunch of homework I have to do, but I will get to it. I'm going to get it done and it's going to be great. But right now I'm just really tired and probably going to get something for breakfast because I... I don't even remember if I've eaten. I think I had like thing of yogurt and I didn't eat a whole lot last night like I I know I went to bed hungry because I remember thinking like god I could go downstairs and get a snack or I could just sleep because the bed's really comfortable so comfortable and obviously you know which one I picked and I also have a big mess to clean up kind of I don't know if it's actually gonna get cleaned up today but I, I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get there and for now, I'm probably going to figure out lunch. Brunch? It's almost 10. I call that brunch. We'll call that brunch. Alright, so... Looks like my dad and I are going to go grabbing... We're going to grab a few things for our camping trip next weekend. Ha <laughs> ha! Super excited. Um, obviously, my homework is going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, but... We're, well, apparently we need a table. Um, apparently where we're going doesn't have picnic tables, which is really weird. So we're going to go look for like a TV tray or something that's made out of metal that can handle just like a camp stove. That's the word I'm looking for, handle a camp stove. And it's kind of grody outside, but it's not too bad. It's Oregon. I'm digging it. Yeah. So, adventure! Power bus. So okay, okay. No one's no one's watching. But so tip: if you're going camping, solar lights and 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 just look at how cheap these are. Ding ding ding! Oh yeah! I'm so excited. And what am I supposed to say? So we both agree. That we we want to go back to our childhoods. I just said, I get to go first. I'm the eldest. Yes, Dad. But, like, look at that. I want one of those. Yeah, you want, want to go back and I want to go forward. I want one of those. I want to go back to the future. I want, to, I want, I want like, three of those. And See, then I, I could, I might even just, like, blow 20 bucks on one of these guys because so those are so spend, cool. You used to spend over $200. I, I know I did. And I'd stop, I know. Stop at I know, but, like, but, like, I'm 24 years old and I would totally play with these because these are awesome. I'm 57 today and I would too. Happy birthday, Dad. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, it is my birthday, Calvin. I know. All right, everybody. We're just going to talk about this for just a little bit because I need to tell you uh, my favorite thing in the kitchen. My favorite thing in the kitchen. You see this, baby? You see this, baby? Oh, so good. This is my pressure cooker. It's so nice. So, this baby right here, I can make an entire thing of beans, which I'm going to do later. Look at all them beans. Here, let me turn on the light so that you can see just how much beans. Look at all them beans. That's four cups of beans. And this baby is going to cook them all in like an hour because it's wonderful. Everyone should have a pressure cooker. Mwah. This is my favorite thing in the kitchen. If there's one thing I really like about living in Oregon, oh, it smells good. It stays like this. Dude, this came out of nowhere.
just a little bit of Oregon liquid sunshine. Look at that. Well, that's an issue. <laughs> okay then. As crazy as that weather is, I love it. I love every bit of it. Even that. That's just... <laughs> At least I get to spend today cooking, so... <laughs> Who cares? Alright, so... In case you didn't realize, I'm cooking. The beans have five minutes, five minutes or so, till they're done cooking the first round, and that was 50 minutes this time. I wanted them a little bit softer before I uh, get all the liquid out. And uh, we've got some jalapenos, onions, and garlic in there. This is the chicken, which is just out of this guy got this from World Market, so hopefully it tastes pretty good. Uh, but I just cut up a bunch of garlic, and now I'm going to show you what I put in for a seasoning, as I do this with one hand because I'm not fancy and I don't have an assistant with me. I'm here all alone. No one's here yet. So I'm just going to put in a bunch of Johnny's. I'm just going to keep going because this is actually a really good seasoning and I like it in my refried beans. So we're just gonna keep going. Now remember, I've got like probably eight cups of beans that we're seasoning. So that's actually pretty light on the sodium. And then we have a dark chili powder, which is really tasty. I'm gonna throw some of that in there. And then we've got cumin, which is just, this is just bulk from uh, Winco. And we want to put a lot of cumin in there because cumin is my favorite in this and it adds a lot of depth and it tastes delicious because we're all about making delicious food. <laughs> um, I should probably twist that over to the wide one. Is that better? There we go. Much better. See, as you can see, I put in a lot of cumin. And we're going to close that guy up. And then next I have, oh, doing this with one hand is insane. How do vloggers do these kitchen things? They must have like three or four assistants. This is smoked paprika. If you could smell this right now, oh my God. Just gonna make that nice and bright. Decent amount. You don't wanna go too overboard with the spicy stuff. So you don't wanna put too much like powdered jalapeno. I have another text message. You don't want to go too overboard with jalapeno or cayenne pepper because you can't really like bring it down too much. Um, but this is kind of my go-to. I should have a little bit of cayenne pepper. I don't normally add a whole lot, but just a smidgen. Easy, good mute. That's clove. Clove is like the exact opposite of what I want to put in here. Cream of Tata. -ta. That's not what I want. Is that who you are? That's sesame seeds. Oh my goodness. What I would do for my own kitchen. But I'm not old enough for that yet. <laughs> uh oh. Alright, nice and charred. Turn that off. Take that off of the heat. So da da da. And yes, those are little black. That's how I like it, and since I'm the one cooking, I'm the one making the decisions. So, I'm just going to swirl that around a little bit. Ooh, oh, oh god, that smells so good. I feel like it's missing something, though. I haven't added the cayenne pepper, so I know I need to add a little bit of that. I'm going to do fresh garlic this time, so we'll see. 